What's up guys, this is Sunny and I'm still waiting for my E5 processor. I still didn't receive it yet but I borrow a processor from one of my buddy and this processor basically a sample uh, from Intel. So today I just wanted to show you guys and clear something. Uh, as you can see uh, E5 processor I have uh, installed right now and look as you can see the score on my left hand side with the E5 uh, 2658 V3 as you can see the single score is 2517 and the multi score is 27828 and versus i7 5820K stock okay not overclock uh, single score is bit higher than the E5 the 12 core by the way the E5 is 12 core the single core is lower than the 5020K. So basically, every time you guys will see, if you have a 10 core processor or a 12 core or a 14 core versus a six core or a quad core, you will always see the single core uh, will be higher uh, in a quad core or a six core versus 10 core, 12 core or a 14 core. So as you can see, the 5020K uh, multi-core 20,576. So I did gain a lot in multi-core uh, versus the 5020K. Uh, so almost like a 7,000, uh, 7, uh, you know, increase. Yeah. If you guys are planning on building a Hackintosh with the E5 processor, like 2600 series V3 processor, and you're building maybe a Yosemite or L Captain, whatever you're planning to do. Now, for E5 processor, if you're using an E5 processor other than the i7 processor, I mean 5020K, uh, 5930K, uh, 5960X, for all those i7 processor, you need to uh, patch your kernel and also you need a Voodoo T-Sync. But for E5 processor, you don't need Voodoo T-Sync, you don't need to patch your kernel. So you can just get an E5 processor and you could build a Hackintosh and you don't have to patch your kernel, you don't have to get, uh, you don't have to um, use the cakes, uh, Voodoo T-Sync, none of that. So E5 26 uh, 100 series processor, the V3 processor are well supported by uh, you know Apple or you know Mac but uh, I just wanted to clear with you guys so so the processor I have right now as I told you guys uh, the processor is a sample from Intel it's a uh, E5 2658 um, I kind of landed from one of my friend I have to return it back when I receive my processor I will have detailed benchmark I will do um, Cinebench and uh, Nova Bench all the other but for now I just wanted to share with you guys uh, that that's the difference for now so yeah guys let me know if you guys have any question leave in the comment below i'll be more than happy to answer you guys but i just wanted to share with you guys and explain you guys that um you know if you get a e5 processor for your hackintosh you will definitely gain a lot and it will is definitely well supported by apple the only downside you can't overclock is xeon processor and you can overclock a i7 processor so yeah guys let me know what you guys think and that should be it.